terms you need to know. Four terms you need to know. You know what they say, there's three types of people in this world? Those that can count and those that can't? Okay, four terms you need to know. Four terms you need to know. Uh, different types of bedrock. We have soft bedrock. What do you think one property of soft bedrock is going to be? It's soft. It's soft. <laughs> you're good. Okay. What do you think the next one is? Hard. Haha, -ha, you're good. Hard bedrock. Any guesses? You won't get the next one. The next one is shale. How do you spell shale? A I L A L E. I think it's A L E. A L E. Shale. What? Shale. 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 Okay, and the last one can go by two different names. It could be called clay, or sometimes we call it false. Okay, those are the four types of bedrock that we worry about when we're plaster mining. They could be all sorts of different types of rock. They could be granite, they could be basalt, they could be greenstone, they could be all sorts of things, but we don't call them by their rock name we worry about their properties. Whether it's a soft bedrock, a hard bedrock, a shale, or a broken up bedrock, or clay. And often we'll call that false bedrock because it's usually not really bedrock. But gold doesn't travel through it. It acts like bedrock. As gold settles through all the gravels, it hits the clay layer and stops, just like if it hit bedrock. The different types of bedrock we treat differently when we're, when we're mining, uh, or, or even just panning, digging. Hard bedrock can be one of the most difficult stuff to deal with. And the reason why hard bedrock is hard, is difficult, if you have this chunk of hard bedrock, like this, that has a couple pieces of gold sitting on it, And you try to dig up that gold. You go in there with your shovel. Remember, shovels are always rounded at the bottom. You go in there with your shovel and start scraping the surface with your shovel. You only hit bedrock in a very small spot. And you can miss pockets easily. So your shovel goes in there. Your shovel goes in here and digs and you're scooping out and you're missing a lot of stuff because the shovel hits that bedrock, skirt, scoots across the surface, scrapes across that surface and misses the gold. Even if that bedrock was right absolutely flat and you had pieces of gold sitting on it, if you went in there with your curved shovel and scraped the surface, you would have to be absolutely, precisely on that piece of gold in order to get it. If you went in anywhere else, you would miss the gold. That's one of the reasons we like using our little hand dredges for cleaning off bedrock, is because you can get into all the cracks and crevices and you can clear the bedrock. But a shovel scraping hard bedrock misses a lot. It's also another reason we go in there with a little brush and brush it down to get that stuff. So hard bedrock is difficult to deal with. Soft bedrock isn't. Soft bedrock is great. You have that same jagged piece of bedrock with gold sitting on it. And a property of soft bedrock is it's soft enough that you can dig into. Now, when you go down with your shovel into that bedrock, you scoop into the bedrock, and now any gold that's anywhere along there gets captured. The next scoop, you come in here and you scoop into the bedrock. Anything that's along there gets captured. The next scoop, you scoop in. Anything along there gets captured. Soft bedrock is nice to work on. Apparently we're being buzzed by a helicopter. Tranquil River, outside of Camelot.
loops. Awesome place to go panning. Great place to go panning, Tranquil River. We, we work on bedrock all the time. It's a soft bedrock. You can dig almost four inches into the bedrock before it comes really, really hard. It's great because you capture everything that's landed on bedrock. Okay, shale, the next one. Spelled right now. Shale is a broken up, jagged bedrock, and usually it's on an, a on an angle. It's sort of all these flat plates that go like this. It's broken off in funny ways like that, and the bottom of a river made of shale is all jagged like this. And often, broken up into lots of little sections. Lots of sections. Broken up and laying on the surface and all sorts of stuff. And when gold falls into this, it gets caught in those cracks. It falls in and stays in the little crevices of that shale all around. Shale is great for capturing gold. Water flowing over top of shale that's up on edge like that, it's acting like a natural sluice box, it's grabbing it all. It grabs gold really well. Depending on how broken up and loose it is, you can actually dig into it with your shovel. You can actually break down into it. And something neat about shale, because it's got all these cracks and crevices, if you take your shovel, and put it down into there and then pry, you can break off whole sections of this shale and capture all the gold along with it. Shale is nice for capturing gold. One problem with shale is because it's made up of all these individual plates that have cracks between it, the gold can migrate down into those cracks and can go down fairly fairly deep into shale. If you guys remember watching uh, Yukon, or no, not Yukon Gold, this is Gold Rush again. Uh, Tony Beats claim that Schnabel was uh, working. Tony insisted that he dig down six feet into bed, had gone down in those cracks up to six feet down. It can go down a long ways in shale. Clay, false bedrock, you're not actually on bedrock, but it has very similar properties to the soft bedrock. You can dig into it. Gold will sink into clay a little bit, maybe, but you can dig into it nicely. You can remember those four terms? Four types of bedrock? 